A number of drones and unmanned vessels are being deployed in a major international exercise in Portugal as the Royal Navy looks to push its latest technology to the limit. AN Armed Autonomous Pacific 24 RHIB, a hand-launched mini-quadcopter, an unmanned surface vessel and a surveillance drone will join a specially designed shipping container, known as POTS, and the experimental ship 15 Patrick Blackett for NATO's annual drone warfare exercise. More than 200 British personnel from the Royal Navy. Ministry of Defense and Defense Industry are working with U.S. personnel along with 25 other nations for the exercise, known as Repmus and Troia. Southern Portugal. Co hosted by Portugal, the exercise focuses on cutting edge unmanned systems and seeks to take technology from the trials phase to integration into operations and task groups. Australian personnel will participate virtually. Point 15 Patrick Blackett is acting as a test bed for various elements of the trial and will use a range of technologies building on its successes during last year's exercise. The Royal Navy is also testing the Peregrine Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, Puma and EB Vision Surveillance Drones, Rotron Unmanned Aerial Systems, and Remotely Piloted Sea Craft. The Office of the Chief of Naval Technology, OCTO, is also delivering Navy pods, a purpose-built shipping container, which will serve as an operations room additional storage space for drones, and as a command center. AT, the heart of the UK operations room, Navy Develop enables unmanned systems to operate as an integrated force, looking at command, control, and mission execution. This enables the sharing of data from drone operations in real time, between partners and allies to extend control over the battlefield, I in addition to equipment already owned and operated by the Navy's taking part in the exercise, Companies and innovation centers across NATO are also using the exercise as a dedicated testing ground to prove their systems and software work with ships, aircraft and submarines already in service. Royal Navy Development Director, Rear Admiral James Parkin, who oversees Navy X and leads the team responsible for developing future fleet technologies and systems, said, This year has been the largest exercise repmis to date and the strongest ever Royal Navy contribution to this important event. The successes that have been experienced, including demonstrating the ability of all three AUKUS navies to command and control ships on the other side of the world in tactically realistic scenarios, show how close we are to realizing our ambition for a genuine team of manned and unmanned systems capable of operating and winning anywhere on the planet, from the seabed to outer space. For the first time, this year's annual exercise will also contribute to progress under AUKUS, the UK's major defense and security partnership with Australia and the US.